Hi, I'm Liz Larson with The Art of Frosting, and today we're only going to have a little bit of frosting involved in the project that we do. Today we're going to do painted pie dough. That's right, we're going to decorate those pies that we made in earlier videos. So we're just going to use some pie dough and some food coloring, a little bit of egg wash. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's get started. Can't wait for you guys to see this technique. To get started, we need a few things. And some things we need for sure, and other things are optional. First, we need our pie dough. You can use the quick and easy pie recipe video that I have, and I'll link at the end. Also, you can find that recipe on my blog. Or you can buy a pre-made pie dough um, that you can find in the grocery aisle in the refrigerated section at your grocery store. Um, we're going to use some cutouts. These are leaves, but you could also freehand these. So sketch them out and freehand them on if you want to, or use some cookie cutters. Works perfect. We need some food coloring. This we have to have. So I'm going to use maybe some brown, some yellow, some green, and some red and some green some fall colors. We need an egg wash, so we need one egg and a little bit of milk and a bowl to mix it in. We definitely need a pan cookie sheet with a tin foil over it. You could use parchment, but I find that tin foil works the best. We also, I'm going to use a paintbrush today, but you can totally use your fingers and get a little messy, but a paintbrush works great too. I want to start with our egg wash. Egg wash is just an egg and some milk. And egg wash is great when you're doing pastries. You brush it on your doughs and it makes them nice and shiny and seals them. It's, they're really pretty. We're gonna use our egg wash to seal in our colors. Just mix it up like that. I like to leave my pie dough covered right until I'm ready to use it. Another trick is to use your pie dough chilled. Makes it a little bit easier as well to get your leaves back off. So I like to come in and either just cut with a knife, freehand if you want to, or use your cookie cutters. And I like to come in and do that first. That way I kind of have an idea of how my colors are going to lay out. Really versatile. You can just do whatever you want. Cut out any design you can think of, and really for any time of year. But the fall leaves are especially fun for holiday especially Thanksgiving pies. First thing I want to do is I want to dip my paintbrush in a little color. Now again, you can totally use your fingers for this. And I may do that. I like to rub the colors in. So just get some on your paintbrush and just add the color wherever you want. Now you want, you don't want to dilute your colors at all. You want them to be very um, intense. You can even leave, you know, kind of globs of colors around your edges. So I've got my yellow on wherever I want it. And next I want to come in with my red. It could be your green or your red. But I'm not going to take the color off of my brush because I want it to blend. I want it to blend into some orange, some deep red. So you can just blend it in here. So add your red wherever you want. You can add it on your edges. And some of these you want to be just red and orange. And some of them you'll want to be have some green. Now, don't worry about blending too much because when we add our egg wash in, that's going to add another layer of blending. Come back in with a little bit of brown from my acorn, and you can see I've put a little bit of green, just a touch of red, just for some interest on that little acorn. And you can even highlight and low light and accentuate. I mean, totally paint with this stuff. I can't wait to see what some of you artists out there do with your pie dough once you see this idea. It's a lot of fun. Now one last little trick that you can do, and you want to do this before you put your egg wash on, is you can actually take a paring knife and you can create the veins in your leaves, just, just a tiny bit. And when those bake, they'll crack open a little bit and reveal those veins a little bit more. It's just one extra layer. Be careful not to cut all the way through. Just use a sharp paring knife and add your little accents. Next I'm going to come back in with my egg wash. I'm going to have a clean brush. Come back in and just gently rub the egg wash across. Now you won't spread your colors too much because they're really starting to sink in and dry a little bit. So, But you do want to have a light hand 
so that you don't smear your colors around too much. And just gently put the egg wash on. Remember that your egg wash is gonna give these a sheen and a little crackle. Now, for you artists out there, you could put your egg wash on first and use it to move the paint around. It give it a little bit more of a watercolor effect, which is really kind of cool. It'll, the colors will be softer and a little less intense, but they also float on top of the dough a little bit, so it gives you a little more ease in movement. So now my leaves are nice and chilled, and my dough is a little stiffer, and I wanna start to get my cutouts out here. Have your little paring knife handy for places that stick. And just get your spatula up under it, under there. It's nice to have the dough stiff like it is now from being in the refrigerator. And you could actually stick it in the freezer for a few minutes as well. You just want to be careful with that because if you leave it in too long, your leaves will break. Okay, so now it's free here. I have my pan with my tin foil down. And I, the reason I want the tin foil is I want to put them on the side here so that I, my edges can stick up. I want my leaves to not be just flat. I want them to have some dimension and be like real leaves that are curling on the edges. Place them however you want. Make sure that you do both sides here. You can have some that are flat and some that are curved and you want to work quickly so that your dough doesn't get warm. So we also have two applications for our leaves. One is on the cookie sheet that we're going to put on an already baked pumpkin pie. The next is we're going to use them for an unbaked apple pie. So for your unbaked pie, we're going to go ahead and place them on, but we need a little glue. We're going to use our egg wash that we used before and our paintbrush, and we're going to paint the top of our pie. Now this is going to give the top of our pie a beautiful golden brown, and it's also going to act as our glue for our leaves. You can put a nice coat along your edges as well. Now that I have a little glue, I can start to place my leaves. Let's use a couple of our acorns here. And you can be as artistic as you want. I want my leaves to look like a blustery day, like the leaves are blowing through. So I kind of like that. We'll put this in the oven for the normal baking time. If the top of your pie gets a little too brown, keep an eye on it, you just cover it with tin foil for the remainder of the baking time. Now that my leaves are all laid out like I want them on my pan, these need to go in the oven on 400 for eight to 10 minutes. You want them just barely brown around the edges. So now that our leaves are, are baked and are cool, you wanna let them cool completely. We can lift them off and you can see how the ones that are up on the edge, how they have a nice little curve to them. That's a lot of fun. So you wanna pull them, just pull them away delicately. So the next step is we actually wanna create a little bit of glue for our leaves to go on our already baked pumpkin pie around the edges. So what I've got here is about a cup of powdered sugar. And I wanna to add to that about a teaspoon, just a tiny bit of orange juice. Now, lemon juice works really good for this, and so does just a touch of milk. You could use that instead. But you really wanna start with just a teaspoon, and you're gonna to start to work your powdered sugar into that, and you're going to make a glaze. And now you can see about how thick it is. That's about how I want. You wanna really stir it in, make sure there's no lumps. I've got here my quarter sheet pumpkin pie. Now, hopefully, you guys have seen this video. If not, check out the link at the end to see how to make this delicious and easy pumpkin pie. And what I'm gonna do is actually put a little bit of glue, a little bit of this glaze on the back, and then I'm gonna stick it onto the edge of my pie. Next, I wanna take just a little bit of my glaze, and this part's definitely optional, but I really like to do it. Get it pulled up onto your fork and let it drizzle, 
As it starts to drizzle, move it onto your pie and in circular motions. And you can let it drizzle onto your leaves a little bit. I kind of like it like that. And just a nice circular motion. And after this is done, let it sit out of the fridge for a few minutes to let the glaze harden. And now you've got a really beautifully decorated pumpkin pie. And here is my finished, beautifully decorated apple pie. Also done in a quarter sheet pan. I really like these quarter shape pans because it allows me to have a little bit of a bigger uh, pie and also to do some interesting decorations. So that's my pretty decorated apple and you can see you could do all kinds of things with it. And there you go. Two ways to decorate your pies. One baked on, one placed on after they're baked. As you can see you guys can go crazy with this. There's all kinds of applications for it. So have fun and definitely let me know what you guys do with it. Well, that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really love the holiday season. I love doing interesting things with pies as well as cakes. As you guys can see, there are a million ways that you can use this. So definitely send me your pictures. I can't wait to see your painted pies. So again, the recipe for both of these pies will be on my blog at www.theartoffrosting.blogspot.com. You can find me on Facebook at The Art of Frosting. And there's something new. You can find me at Curious.com where there's a 10 lesson beginning cake decorating course. So I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday baking season. Don't forget you can ask me questions on Facebook, my blog, and also you can email me at gmail, uh, cake decorating instructor at gmail.com. See you all again real soon. Bye.